So welcome to today's Origin of Energy Movement session. So today we're doing uh, round offs, back somersaults, snap downs and then a core movement. And we're just doing some easier versions and then progressing them. So the first version is just going to be a cartwheel into a vertical jump. So what we're doing is really using the hips and then the shoulders to really come up. So what you're going to do from here is watch out for the dog. Brody, Brody. sorry, we're just right. moving. So right. here I'm going to stretch right forward. Candy, 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 come here, candy. From here, stretching out. One, come here. two, and then up. So just like that, really stretch out. Over, bring the shoulders up. Next version I'm going to do it where I'm going to put a bit more of a run into it and get a nice jump out of it. So I come forward. Out. And then the third version, after that, I can just join it together with the back somersault but get a bit more of a run into it and really you want to feel like you're almost like you're sprinting into it, so you're really driving and it's all explosive. really good. Just got to get that nice join between the movements. We're doing the round off on both sides so it stays balanced through the core. It's a bit harder to do the somersault on the other side. Then we're doing both sides doing, because uh, we're into us uh, five to eight rep range now, so only doing three to four or two to four each side of these movements. And then got a minute and a half rest and then going to the next pattern. So the second movement pattern doing a back somersault. But obviously you want to have a really good vertical jump and the precursor for good vertical jumps is always going to be a good strong squat so you get a nice takeoff and a nice landing and from here though just getting it nice and high really as the hips as the arms come up you want to really bring the hips forward so it's really it's like you're almost going to fall back so that way when you're doing the back somersault you've really got to get the whole thing is that your hips overtake the shoulders so I'll get Gus to come over and just going to demonstrate the assisted version. So he's just going to do a vertical jump first, right up. And see how his hips just float forward? Now he's going to do the same thing at the very top. He's going to tuck tight, but bring his hips to his shoulders. Yeah, that's nice. And then that's when you get that nice light point and you get the flick and go over. So from there, just doing the same thing but just explosive and then going over the top. So nice high vertical jump and then it's just like a backward roll going over the top. That's it, that's fine, that's fine. So next move I'm just doing a snap down off the box. I'm really just trying to get a nice flick with the hips. I'm just doing three to four because it's pretty intense. And then from here, kicking up. I'm flicking under. So you really want to have that feeling like when your feet land, that you've got no other choice but to step back and fall back because you're really trying to get this nice flick to there to get into the back flip. So then do the same thing, but then all I'm going to do is from that position there, when I'm landing, going straight in to the back flip. So a little bit higher, so I'm going to touch longer, try and get my feet under here a little bit more, stretch out a bit more. It's still a bit high. That's cool, a minute and a half rest, and I'm going to the fourth pattern. So Gus is just taking an active rest. Hey Gus, what are you doing in the bushes over there? <laughs> so the fourth pattern, just doing a BOSU crossover crunch. So from here, just coming up onto it, coming over. Strong core, an easier version would be to keep the legs on the ground, and then come up and over to make it harder. Just come over a touch more, so the legs are in the air. Doing three to four 
to each side. You've just got to get that position right on there, otherwise you go either side. So we're doing three to five sets of that today. And that's our workout. See you next time.